welcome to Upside Down Pilates. In today's lesson, we will explore breath. Uh, Eileen, Malia, and Lonnie, as well as Herman, will be joining us. So let's begin. Go ahead and lie down onto your mat. Let your legs be long, and bring your arms down by your sides. Good, go ahead, close your eyes. Good. And just take a moment and let the tension of the day fall out and down into your mat. Notice the space between your neck, your low back, your legs, your ankles. And take a moment and just notice if there's any points of tension or any points of pain. And if you do feel any points of tension or any points of pain, try and let them to release out and open into your mat. And now go ahead and take a moment and notice your breathing. As you're breathing, notice what part of your body moves. Is your belly rising and falling? Are your shoulders elevating? Do you feel your ribs flaring? And don't worry about changing anything right now. Just notice how it feels and how you naturally breathe. Take a moment and take a nice big breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, blow the air out through your mouth. And again, take a nice big breath in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And now take a big breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, draw your belly to your back and your back to your belly. Good, and again, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, belly to the back and back to the belly. Good, and now let's draw your waist in as well. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhaling through the mouth, belly to the back, back to the belly, and scoop your waist into your spine. And again, nice big inhale. And exhale, belly to the back, back to the belly, scoop your waist into your spine. And again, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, belly to the back, back to the belly, scoop the waist in, draw your ribs down, and now lift up through your pelvic floor. And again, nice big three-dimensional inhale. And exhale, belly to the back, back to the belly, scoop the waist in, draw the ribs down, lift up through the hips. And one more nice big three-dimensional inhale. And big three-dimensional exhale. Good. Soften your breathing now. And just take a moment to notice how you've changed. Notice how you've centered yourself. Notice how the breath is moving more freely through your body. And rest. And let's go ahead and take a moment and examine our anatomy in our breath. Go ahead and come up to seated for just a minute here. And let's take a look at Herman. He is our studio mascot. Um, and we're going to first look at our diaphragm. So this fantastic little uh, bag is representing our diaphragm. It connects up here through the top portion of the body and it goes all the way across through the ribs into the, or the uh, thoracic spine and it connects all the way up here onto the xiphoid process. And what happens is as we take a breath in, it pulls down 
like this to help suction the air in. And then as we exhale, it pushes back up to help press the air out. And that happens um, pretty much only in forced expiration or forced breathing. When you're naturally just breathing, the suction of moving in and out through the air um, happens on its own uh, just by the force and the pressure of your body. Um, whereas when you're taking a nice big breath in, the diaphragm helps to pull it down. And when you're breathing out really hard, it helps to push it back up. And that's a very interesting concept for us to think about uh, while we're doing our work. So let's uh, take a moment and just visualize our breathing. Okay, so go ahead and come to seated. And close your eyes. And just imagine that diaphragm, like on Herman, having a wonderful sheath connecting all the way up into your ribs, up by your xiphoid process, into your thoracic spine. And just imagine as you inhale, it goes down into your belly. And then as you exhale, it comes up and helps to press the air out. So let's take a few breaths like that. Take a deep inhale and imagine the breath and the diaphragm moving down into your belly. And then exhale through your mouth, but imagine that diaphragm pushing up and helping to press the air out. And again, inhale, the diaphragm reaches down into your belly and exhale, the diaphragm pulls back up. Good, a couple more times, deep breath. And exhale. And just one more deep breath, let the diaphragm open wide, and then big breath out, feel how it pushes the air up and out. Good. All right, let's go back to Herman here and take a look at our transversus abdominis. I found it really interesting that the transversus abdominis actually interdigitates with the diaphragm and they work together to help with forced expiration. Um, so the transversus abdominis is considered by most to be the deepest layer of abdominal muscles, although some people are considering the psoas to be um, more of the deepest layer of abdominal muscles. Right now, pretty much the transversus is considered it. Um, it wraps around from this tendinous sheath around the linea alba, around through, and it connects into your pelvis, into your lower back, and it actually goes all the way up and connects on the insides of the ribs. And that is where it's um, coming close by where the diaphragm is. It's responsible, again, for the last 20% of your breath and exhalation um, to help get it out, as well as to stiffen your lumbar spine. So you can see, if we flip Herman around here, where it connects in with the lumbar spine. It's actually on the front of the uh, transverse processes, um, and it will help to pull these forward and stiffen them together. And it also draws the ilium, the hip bones, up and in. And it's what makes you look skinny. So we want to use this one a lot because it pulls in and makes that nice hourglass shape in your waist. So let's go ahead and breathe again. But now we're gonna envision the diaphragm going down, the diaphragm coming up, and the transversus abdominis coming together. Okay, so go ahead, let's go seated again. And you can have your eyes open or closed, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Let's take a big breath in and allow the diaphragm to open. And exhale, allow the diaphragm to lift. And now connect in with your transversus abdominis. See how tight you can make your waist. And again, big breath in, allow the diaphragm to open. Exhale, allow the diaphragm to lift and connect the transversus abdominis and feel the front of your hip bones even pull up. And one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, lift. Good, and rest. So let's take a look at Herman from the back now. And along with uh, the transversus abdominis and the diaphragm helping to press the air out, um, it's important as we bring the air in that it goes down deep into the lower lateral lobes of the lungs. 
Um, one thing that it, it does is it helps us to keep our abdominals in while we're doing our exercises or maybe lifting a box or something like that and allowing us to breathe backwards and sideways. But also the most efficient exchange of gases happens in the lower lateral lobes of the lungs. So as we breathe in, we're going to try feel the diaphragm move down, but also feel your back open and expand. And this is an area that I myself have trouble um, doing and a lot of dancers have trouble doing because they breathe forward a lot. Um, and all breathing is good. You don't want to stop breathing at any point in time. Um, but this is just a new part of your body that you can start to explore, okay? So let's go ahead and fold forward. We'll have our knees bent and you're gonna put your hands on your shins and allow your body just to hang forward. And I'm gonna flip Herman back around here. And as you're here, uh, just try and let your shoulders relax, let your neck relax. And just bring your mind's eye down into your back in the lower portion where your ribs are, and out in through the sides. And now try and pull your belly button in just a little bit away from your legs. And now take a nice big breath in and open your breath into your back. And now exhale and pull your tummy in tighter. And again, take a nice big breath in. Allow it to open into your back. And breathe out. Good. And just a couple more times. Big breath in. Allow the back to widen and expand. Exhale, allow the belly to hollow. And again, big breath in. Allow it to widen and expand. And exhale, hollow. And on this next time, let's just roll up. Big breath in across your back. And exhale, start to roll up from the bottom of your spine, stacking your shoulders and your head right on top. Good. Beautiful, ladies. Go ahead and grab your pinwheels. And we're going to do a wonderful exercise in training our breath. We're going to start by sniffing through our nose and then blowing through our mouth. So just watch for a second. And then we'll blow out. Helping to force the expiration. And you'll feel how your belly moves as you're doing that. Okay, let's try it once without our pinwheel. So let's sniff, take a sniff in. And now blow out. Good, now here's the trick. Grab a pinwheel, and if you don't have a pinwheel, you can blow out a candle or just into the air or even a piece of paper and keep it moving. So grab your pinwheel. We're gonna sniff for five counts, and then we're gonna blow out through our mouth for five counts, and we'll do five rounds of that, okay? Here we go, sniff. One, two, three, four, five, and blow. Two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Five and in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Very good. And Malia's pinwheel's a little broken here, so she was having extra fun from the rest of us. Now we're going to try breathing all the way in for five counts and blowing all the way out for five counts, which is really quite challenging. So ladies, let's see if we can keep our pinwheels moving. Okay, here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, Four, five and out. Two, three, four, thirty. In. Two, three, four, five and out. Two, three, four, forty. In. Two, three, four, five and out. Two, three, four, fifty. Good. Excellent, ladies. So we just did our first hundred. Very good job. And now let's go ahead and put all of our breathing together and start strengthening our abdominals. Lie down on your backs, ladies. 
And your uh, legs will be bent, your feet will be sits bone distance apart. Go ahead and place your hands on your belly. And let's take a big breath in through our nose and push your belly out as big as you can make it up to the ceiling. Show me your pizza. And now exhale, pull your tummy in to your spine, but try not to move your lower back. So you're gonna keep the shape of your lower back. And again, inhale, push your belly out, make your belly as big as you can. And exhale, breathe out deeply and contract it as small as you can. We're gonna do this eight more times. Big breath in, push your belly out. And exhale, pull your navel into your spine. And again, exhale, inhale, push it up. And as you breathe out, Pull it down. And again, inhale, push it up even into your ribs. Let them go wide. And now exhale, contract even your ribs down and your low abdominals. Five more. Big breath in. And exhale. Four more. Big breath in, wide front, back, side. And exhale. Three more. Your abdominals should begin to get warm about now. And exhale. Good. Two more. Big breath in. And exhale. Last one. Make your belly just as big as you can. And exhale, contract it as deeply as you can. Good. Very nice. Okay, we're going to do the same con concept except for on all fours. So come up to on all fours. Quadruped is the fancy word for that. And when we get on all fours, there's a lot of things to think about. We want to make sure our elbows aren't hyperextended. We want to make sure our upper middle back is reaching to the ceiling so that our scapula are wrapped right up against our rib cage. You want to make sure that your ears, your uh, shoulders, your hips are all in one long line. So let's pull your chin down just a little, Lonnie. Good. And we're going to keep the natural curve of our lower back. Okay. Take a big breath in, ladies, and just let your belly hang out to the ground. And now as you exhale, pull your belly up to the ceiling and try not to change the shape of your back right now. Good. And press this up to my hand a little more, Malia. Good. And take a big breath in. Open your belly to the ground. Beautiful. And then exhale. Draw the tummy in. Try not to move the lower back. Good. And deep inhale, wide across your back. Still feel the diaphragm draw down. Exhale, shoot the air out, although it's almost like it's coming out the top of your head. Good. And again, deep breath. And exhale, hollow your navel. Good. About four more. Deep breath. And exhale. Hollow your navel. Keep pushing the upper middle back to the ceiling. Deep breath. Exhale. Hollow the navel. Good. Two more. Deep breath. Exhale. Hollow the navel. Very nice. One more time. Big breath. Let your belly get just as fat as you can make it. And now exhale, make it as absolutely skinny as you can make it. Natural liposuction. Okay, very nice ladies. Go back into child's pose. Bring your pelvis right back to your heels and allow your arms to just reach forward. And just take a few breaths here. Good. And if you have any knee problems, you can go ahead and keep your hips up, but still reach those arms forward. And let's come on up. Let's go ahead and sit with our legs out in front of us straight. If you need to, you can bend them. So if your hamstrings are very tight, you can go ahead and bend your knees. 
You're gonna flex your feet and let's separate our heels so they're uh, about as wide as your hip sockets. Good. And let's make sure that our ribs and our hips and our shoulders are in a wonderful position here. Good. And Malia, go ahead, bring your upper back to my hand. Excellent. So you wanna make sure that you're right on top of your sits bones and you're not sticking your ribs out forward or tucking your pelvis under and dropping back. You're trying to get your head, your shoulders, your ribs and your hips right on top. If your hamstrings are tight, you need to bend your knees so that you can get right on top of your sits bones. Okay, let's just roll up and down for a little stretch. So breathe in, draw your chin down slightly. And now as you exhale, start to fold forward, folding the ribs backwards, pulling the belly backwards. And keep your pelvis vertical. So keep your lower back reaching backwards and just get the stretch in your upper back. Nice ladies, take a deep inhale. And now exhale, stack up. Try and find your pelvis to ribs, shoulders down and head comes all the way back up. Beautiful. And again, draw your chin down, still reach energy up to the ceiling as you go and exhale, fold the ribs backwards. Very nice. Good. Big breath into your back. And exhale from your navel, roll yourself up. Good. And one more time, draw your chin down, inhale. And exhale, sequence yourself forward, pull the ribs backwards. Good. Keeping your abdominal connection, you can continue and allow yourself to go forward a bit. Feeling more stretch in your hamstrings and your lower back. Point your toes. And flex your heels. Yeah, and make sure you're moving all the way right up at your ankle joint. And point your toes all the way up at your ankle joint. And flex your heels. Good. Very nice. And point your toes. and flex your heels. Good, big breath across your back. And exhale, stack your spine up. Feeling your lower back and your abdominals lift, feeling your ribs connect together, feeling your shoulders glide down, and your head rest right on top of your shoulders tall. Good, beautiful. All right, go ahead and lie down now onto your backs. And we're just gonna rest. Let your legs go long again, let your arms go down. And think back to when we began. And, no, and remember what you were feeling like then. Remember back into any areas that you had tension or pain and just go back into that area now and see how it's feeling. And think back to what your breath was doing at the beginning of our lesson and notice how it's changed. And take a nice big breath in through your nose and blow it out. Good, and one more time, nice big breath in through the nose and blow it out. And thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time when we explore the pelvis.
Upside Down Pilates is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Honolulu. We offer solo, duet, and trio lessons, post-rehab conditioning, small group equipment and mat-based lessons, comprehensive teacher trainings, and anatomy and biomechanics classes. All of our teachers are comprehensively trained by Lisa Oreg and certified through the Pilates Method Alliance. Scheduling and payment is easily accessible at www.upsidedownpilates.com or call us toll-free at 1-888-751-6950.